Today we're making this super simple, super delicious, air fried apple pie stuffed Zeppeli. Yes, that's what I said, apple pie stuffed Zeppeli <laughs> made with your regular, you know, store-bought um, pizza dough with your own apple pie filling. So delicious. Only six minutes in the air fryer. Let's see how we make it. Just keep watching. Yum. All right, so we're gonna start this recipe by uh, making our, our own apple pie filling. You could buy apple pie filling, very easy, you know, much faster, but it just tastes much better when you make your own. So here I have uh, three very ripe Granny Smith apples. All right, so that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it, peel it, and then dice it. So that's how I like to cut my apples. You see, these were a little, getting a little too ripe, so good thing I'm doing it now. <laughs> All right, so to peel. Get the skin off of this. And then look how nice and easy it is to dice. And there you have your diced apples. You want these pretty small because, you know, we're going to make our air fried fritters pretty small. So that's a good size. All right, so now we're going to do the rest of them. All right, so once we have all our apples diced up, we ended up with about three cups, three and a half cups of diced apples. All right, so the first thing I added was half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to add half a cup of packed brown sugar. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour. one heaping teaspoon of ground cinnamon, see, heaping teaspoon, <laughs> all right, just about a quarter a teaspoon of salt, not a lot, That's it. and then the juice of one lemon. Now this really is going to brighten up your apple pie filling. You just make it nice and tart. So, squeeze that juice in there. Nice, nice. That's half the lemon. And now the other half. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together until all the ingredients are fully incorporated. You know, any chunks of sugar or chunks of flour, you know, it's just not pleasant. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Nice. You're gonna see it's gonna start making its own juice as the um, the apple starts to break down a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit of a juice you want, but right. mixing this. Well, this looks tasty already. Nice. All right. So see, yeah, it's nice and moist in there. It's not just the um, the lemon juice, which is from the apples. And so we're gonna let this actually just sit here for about five minutes, and then we're gonna throw, we're gonna put it in a pan and cook this on the stove. So we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit. But yum! All right, so once it's been sitting for a little bit, you'll see it made that nice juice in there. It looks beautiful. All right, so we got it into our um, sauce pot, and we're gonna get this to a quick boil and then reduce the heat to a light simmer. And then we're gonna cook this on the stove probably in about 10 minutes, just till the apples are nice and tender. Actually, probably won't even need that long, like five, six minutes. Um, but yeah, so the apples are no longer crunchy. You want them nice and tender. So when you bite into your fritter, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wait till this boils really quick and then reduce the heat to a simmer. Fun. All right, so the apples are now simmering, see the little bubbles. You don't want it to be too bubbly because that means the temperature is too high and you're gonna dump burning your apples. You don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so now we have it on this low simmer. Looks like we got about five minutes to kill. Hmm. That's right, we're making a drink because it's cocktail time. So for today's apple pie martini, we're gonna start with two ounces of apple schnapps. One, two. One ounce of vanilla vodka. 
one ounce of regular vodka. Right. A splash of lemon juice. About half an ounce of simple syrup. And then just a little dash of cinnamon. There we go, perfect. All right, so we're gonna shake that up and we pour. Mm, that looks nice. Did I make too much? Nope, look at that. Perfect yet again. <laughs> oh, look, you actually see the cinnamon in it. Fun. All right. I'm gonna have to take a sip of this because if I try to pick this up, it's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> so it's nice. It's very refreshing, has that nice apple flavor. You get a little bit of the cinnamon, you get a little hints of the vanilla. Maybe I would use a little bit more vanilla vodka next time, but it's pretty good. I don't mind. If you like apple martinis, you would enjoy this definitely. All right, so if you try this drink, let us know. But do the two ounces of vanilla vodka, don't, don't use regular vodka, with the uh, apple schnapps if you want more of an apple pie flavor. All right, thanks. And back to the apples. All right, so these have been cooking for about, let's say about seven minutes. You'll feel the apples are nice and tender. All right, it's making a nice, beautiful sauce. And now we're gonna wanna add one more ingredient. Got to take off the top. We're gonna add one quarter cup of a dark rum. Right, just like that. Stir that in. It's gonna loosen up the sauce a little bit. Ooh, smell that rum. All right, now you're gonna raise the heat to a medium high and just let this simmer at a higher heat for a couple minutes to cook out the rum. So the alcohol will be gone, but the flavor will still remain and it'll be so good. All right, so we've allowed this to cook for another three minutes um, at almost a boil, you know, so this way the alcohol cooks out of it. The best way to check is to really just dip your finger in the sauce, taste it. If you still taste the rum, it needs another couple minutes, another minute. <laughs> then keep tasting and then as soon as you don't taste the rum anymore, it's ready. So now we remove this from the heat and we're gonna allow this to cool for about an hour or so. Um, Cause you know, this is really hot and you don't wanna burn yourself. So now we're gonna set this aside and allow it to cool. All right, so while we're waiting for the apples to cool, they've been cooling for about an hour, so they're almost ready. All right, so we're gonna prepare our pizza dough. So why are we using store-bought pizza dough? So you wanna work with this when it's still cold. It makes it easier to work with. Quick tip. <laughs> All right, so now, you're gonna to wanna to roll this out to, <coughs> excuse me, about 11 by 14 triangle. All right, so I'm just do this by hand for a little bit. Sure, you get nice enough flour on both sides so it doesn't stick. Once you get it to a nice looking triangle, or uh, rectangle, we can use a rolling pin. So we're just gonna keep gently rolling this out until we get the desired shape. And that's gonna be about probably an eighth of an inch thick. So you don't want it super thin, but you also don't want it to be too thick. All right, so we're just gonna keep playing with this still until we get the desired size we want. All right, so I roll this out. It actually is 11 by 14, I measured it. <laughs> you know, I like to be specific. All right, so now we're gonna um, cut this into squares that are about three by three. So I'm gonna use a regular little pizza cutter here. I'm just gonna cut these up. It's not perfect squares, it's okay. What do you think? All right, so I'm gonna cut this into thirds here. Just get that, get that. All right, so, so we have a nice little square. All right, so now we're gonna cut up the rest of it. This one's just weird. That'll be a funny looking one. <laughs> the corner pieces. All right, so we'll continue like that. We won't waste this. We'll definitely put it to use. All right, so I'm going to cut this into thirds like that. All right. And then... 
we have our little square ready to go. Now we're going to moisten the outer edges. So this is going to help it stick to itself. Right there, we're going to take a teaspoon of the apple pie filling that we made and that we allowed to cool. Put that right in the center. That was a cheap teaspoon. All right, now it looks like a teaspoon. And then we are going to pinch the edges shut. Just like that. So you can see everything's going to stick together nice. form it into a little bit of a ball shape here. Oop, a leaker here. <laughs> right, so you gotta make sure these edges are perfectly sealed. All right. And there it is. Our little apple pie is apple So cute. It's like a little pillow. <laughs> and it's gonna be so delicious. So now we're gonna do the rest of them, but we're gonna let these sit because the longer they sit, the better chances the dough is going to stick to itself. All right, let's do the rest of them. All right, so we got them all done. Some came out nicer than others. <laughs> Some just came out to be a big mess, like this one. This one's going to explode big time. Eh, it'll still be good. All right, here's that cute one that I made in the beginning. They should all look like that, but that's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now into a preheated air fryer, it's going to go. You're going to want to spray the bottom of the pan with a little canola oil. And then we're going to put about probably like six of these at a time. And we're going to cook these at 360 for probably six to eight minutes. But we'll keep an eye on it. All right, so into the air fryer, they're going to go. All right, so we just pulled these out of the air fryer. They were cooking for six minutes. They are perfect. One popped. Sad. All right, so now you want to douse them with some powdered sugar. Get it on there. Nice. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna cook the rest of them. Hopefully those don't pop. All right, so they're all out of the oven, all doused with powdered sugar. <gasps> they look amazing, but they're really super hot. So we're gonna allow this to cool for a little bit. You know, probably serving them more might be nice. Um, our else is gonna be way too hot and we're gonna burn our mouth. So we'll see these guys in about 45 minutes. Yeah. All right, moment of truth time. Mmm. Mmm. Ha! See the apple? Oh my god. These are absolutely phenomenal. Kind of sugar went everywhere, but oh my god, is that on my nose? <laughs> so good. Oh. They taste like Zeppeli, just like Zeppeli, except the greasiness of them all is not there. The flavor's there, but just no greasiness. Oh. And then the addition of the apple pie. Oh. Oh. I would have been making these all the time now. These are so good. And so easy. Six minutes in the air fryer, seriously? Wow. All right, if you make this recipe, let us know. Thanks for watching. So delicious. You ready for our yours, Lulu? You look ready. I got Drake's ready. Drake's ready. You ready, Lou? Bless you. All right, all right. All right, I'm gonna get it for you, Lou. All right, I'm gonna get it. All for Lulu. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks.